Hi, this is Sharon. Here's a little sampler for my Burning Academy. Enjoy! So, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the reference and I'm looking at where the shadows are. I'm looking now at shapes. I know there's a dark shape here. And so I will begin. Now I know that this lid goes in and then back out again. So I'm going to go around like so and in here I'm going to bring it this way. It's very dark in here, but it also comes up like so. And I'm looking at the reference, so I have a good idea where all of this shading belongs and what all the shapes are. What I'm doing is I'm identifying the basic shape. I know that this shadow goes all the way up here. And there are, there is an eyebrow in here, but it actually hides in the shadow. So I will add that in later on. Right now, I just want to get this darker shape in. The white of the eye actually in here is, is quite dark. There's quite a bit of shadow in there. Put a little bit there. And put a little bit of shading down here. This is actually quite dark all down here. Now I'm going in very lightly because I don't want to darken this too much. Now the nose is very, very, very much in shadow. Lay in the nostrils here. The nose is a curved surface, so we're going to use our concentric lines to work on this shadow. But I'm keeping in mind this shape. I want to make sure I retain that shape because that is important. This is an older gentleman, so he does have a good amount of shading here. Always know what you're working on. If you're working on the nostrils, be aware that you're working on the nostrils. And then we also have a secondary shadow coming from the nose, so that comes all the way down here. It actually covers this whole area, which is very, very dark. But then we also have the valley here. So we have a few complex shapes here. See how I'm slowly building up. And I will slowly begin to move it darker. Now this top lip is very, very dark. It's completely, completely in shadow. Curve that up. comes in. You want to keep building that up. It's very light. I'm going to darken this by a whole heck of a lot. But right now all I'm doing is I'm putting in the basic shapes so that I know where I'm going. I wanted to show you from the last video how I've been layering on. You can see how much darker this is than this. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson. For more information on pyrography and learning to burn, be sure to sign up for my free burning video series at www.freeburningvideos.com.